Hello there ladies and gentlemen, it's your friendly neighborhood Taco here. Today we're going to be learning how to do some interesting movements with sine and cosine. So um, first thing we're going to learn how to do is a sine wave movement. So this is a sine wave right here. Uh, as you see this line here represents time uh, and this here is the amplitude which is how high the wave will will go so that's how high up and down the the uh, character will be moving so the first thing we're going to need to do here is insert an active object i'm going to import a piece of art because i want to you don't have to but i am going to it's just some face we're going to use this for our guy now i'm going to resize this fellow boom okay so, we are going to need some alterable values. Throw in three alterable values. The first one is going to be called center x. The second one is center y. The third one is amp. Uh, let's go ahead and put a fourth one in there too. We're gonna call this uh, time. <clears throat> All right, so, um, the center x and center y are the center position from which we are going to be you doing the, the sine wave from. So let's go ahead and do some coding. Let's put in a new comment. We will say sine wave. All right, so um, we're gonna first need to set up an always event. We are going to have this dude follow our mouse as his center X and center Y. So we will say uh, always set the alterable value of center X to X mouse, which is the X position of the mouse and we will always set the alterable value of center Y to Y mouse, okay? Now we're going to have another always event and this is gonna be when we're doing the sine wave. So we are always going to set the position. Uh, we're always gonna set the, let's do the wave on the Y. So we'll always set the X position to the value of center X. And we will always set the Y position, set the Y coordinate to the value of, <clears throat> and that's going to be center Y plus sine, which is S-I-N, put a parentheses. Now we need uh, time divided by um, a value which is going to affect the, the rate, which so timer divided by, and then we're grabbing the value of time, close parentheses. We're multiplying this by amplitude. So go ahead and grab the value of amplitude, which is how tall that wave is gonna be. So now this will work as soon as we plug in some values, which we haven't done yet. So we're gonna make the amp 50, and time is how quickly it'll go through its wave. So um, the smaller the number, uh, the slower it's gonna be. Let's do, actually, I think it's the opposite. Actually, I think the bigger the number is the, the slower it goes. Yeah. All right, so we want an, uh, a value like, I don't know, five. So the smaller the number, the faster it's gonna go. So there we go. We have a sine wave. As you see, it's centered around the mouse uh, and he's, he's going up and down. Uh, now we can control the, like I said, the amplitude is the height. So if we made the amp 100, then the sine wave gets a whole lot bigger. And if we uh, alter the time, we could make time like 20, it'll slow the rate at which the character is going through his sine wave. Now a sine wave is pretty useful for interesting movements for enemies and stuff, like uh, Castlevania used it all the time for the Medusa heads. Um, it's just a nice smooth movement. Now we can do the exact same thing, except um, add another line for cosine and we will draw a circle. So let's go ahead and say draw, or actually circle movement. <clears throat> so let's copy this dude. I'm gonna clone him, boom. All right, let's see, let's make sure he has everything he needs. He's got center Y, center X, amp and time. Um, that should be fine. So we will always set 
his position. Actually, no, we need to always set his center. We can just drag this, I believe. Yep, so we, we now have copied that event. So um, the center X has been set to X mouse and the center Y has been set to Y mouse. All right, so then we need another always event, just for clarity's sake. Um, and now we are going to set the position on the X coordinate to the value of center X and we're going to add sign timer divided by time multi multiplied by amp okay now we need to set the Y position set Y coordinate to the center Y that was wrong. I didn't grab the value of center y. All right, center y. <clears throat> We're going to add cosine, that's cos. We're going to get the value of timer divided by time. And we're going to multiply this by amp. So this should work. I might have done this backwards. We will find out. Um, yeah, so we're actually gonna have two dudes following the circle, or following the, uh, following the mouse. So yeah, it's actually working perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and alter this though, so it's a little faster. It's way too slow. Make time something like five. Uh, we'll make the amp like two hundred. And that is how you do a circle movement. It's perfectly circular around our center point. So you can use this for all side types of interesting enemies that you know. Uh, I use this in Into the Underdusk for a lot of stuff, or like even things like uh, power-ups that sort of like, I don't know, surround your player and like shoot them, stuff like that. All kinds of cool stuff you can have. Um, anyway, we got one more thing we're going to do. So I'm going to insert another active object. And I'm just going to use the active object icon. I'm going to drag it down. This is going to be a pendulum, okay? Now, to do that, we need, um, we need amp and timer or in time, sorry. Um, and we need to also change the uh, hotspot. So change the hotspot to the top and the action point to the top. That's gonna be the point at which it's swinging from. And all we gotta do, let's put amp in there, we'll say 50 and we'll make time like 10. All right, so we're gonna go in here, add another comment, we're gonna call this pendulum. <clears throat> so we just need to always set the angle of this object so go to set angle and we're going to set that to sine of timer divided by time of that object multiplied by the value of amp quality of one we always want to have maximum quality and there we go we have a pendulum and just like everything else, we can go in here and we can change these. So if we change amp, like for example, if we make amp 10, it'll uh, drastically decrease the, the angle at which the uh, pendulum is swinging. It won't swing nearly as much. But if we do something like 100, it'll have a really high arc. And then if we set the time to like 5, it'll be really quick. But if we set the time to like 20, it'll be really slow. So that's how you do it, guys. It's not very hard. Um, I'm going to go ahead and include this example file for you to look at in the description below. Um, and if you didn't know what this is for, I should have said that in advance. This is Click Team Fusion 2.5. I will have a link down below for you guys to check it out and download it. It is a pretty awesome program for making games. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this uh, educational. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them, leave them down below. Uh, and that's it. I'll catch you guys later. Adios.